Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Megan. Thanks so much for watching. I make videos about mom things, vegan lifestyle things, and my weight loss journey. Today I'm back with more of a mom thing type video. I'm gonna show you everything that I got for my daughter Seely for Halloween. She is almost two and a half, and if you haven't watched last week's video, I'll link it up in the cards for you guys. She has been sick for a little over a month now and uh, there's really no end in sight to that at this point. So I'm kind of keeping her home and away from other people. And on top of that, she also has food allergies. So she can't really like participate in Halloween to the fullest extent anyways. And especially this year, I just really don't want her around people. So we are doing more of a boo basket type situation, except for the fact that I waited a little bit too late and I could not even find a boo basket. Like there were no Halloween pails at Target. So this is what it's gonna be in. A gigantic unicorn bag because I sent my husband to Target <laughs> because he's on call um, for his job and so I had to stay home with her and I was not about to bring her out into a store right now because again I'm keeping her home and away from other people so <laughs> anyways I sent him to Target but literally there were no pails so I told him to get a bag and this is what he came home with because he said she would love it and he's not wrong she does love unicorns and all things pink so anyways, let's go ahead and get into everything that I got for my daughter for Halloween. So I'm going to start off with the outfit that I got for her. Um, we're going to be sort of matchy matchy. You can't exactly see my shirt, but I'll show you sort of. I also got mine from Target. It is a winky face um, jack-o'-lantern. Hers is a snaggletooth jack-o'-lantern that also came with some jack-o'-lantern kitty pants um they're pretty cute this is a um cat and jack little set that i found um so yeah this is her halloween outfit for this year um usually i just let her wear it on halloween and then we will maybe keep it away for next year. We'll have to see if she'll still fit in it. The jury's gonna be out on that one because she's growing like a weed. Okay, so let's dive into this bag because it's all non-food items. Okay, so the first thing in here that I thought she would really have fun in with is play foam. I don't know if you guys remember, you know, back in like the 90s. I'm really aging myself here, but Floam, um, it's kind of like that. So there's a bunch of different colors, but it, it is not supposed to dry out and it is somewhere in between Play-Doh and slime. Um, but some of the colors down here, you can't really see it on camera. Maybe you can, but there is glitter in there. You can sort of see it in the pink. So I thought this was really fun and um, good like sensory play. And obviously it says three plus on it. She's not quite three, but uh, obviously she'll have to be supervised so that she doesn't eat it. Okay, next thing in here is this Poppet counting game. This is by Chuckle and Roar. It is um, just one of those silicone popper things that are really popular right now, but it has um, numbers in it. And I guess it also has like an addition and a minus sign and an equal sign. So I guess you can, you know, do math with it. And yeah, so just a fun little uh, thing to work on counting with. I guess I don't know 
I don't really understand why these silicone popper things are super popular right now, but they are. So at least this one is like semi-educational. Okay, moving on, we have a small little treasure chest of kinetic sand. It says there's, it says hidden treasure, so, or buried treasure. I'm not sure if there are things hidden in here, but I feel like there might be because it says uh, there's small parts. So that remains to be seen, but she does already have like a kinetic sand box. So we're just gonna add this to her sandbox. Okay, the last two things in here, I wasn't sure if I was going to get on time. My um, co-worker just had an Usborn book party and I usually, if someone has one that I know, I will participate and buy a couple of books because I do really like their books. Um, so I got her a couple of those. I was going to potentially wait until Christmas time for these, but I'm going to go ahead and give her a few of the ones that I got um, that I think that she would like right now. So the first one is this ballerina book. And the fun thing about this one is that in this little spot here, you write her name. And so then it will say like Celie the ballerina. So and then throughout the whole book, it will have her name in the book as well. So it'll be a book all about her, which I think is really fun. Um, she absolutely loves dance. And unfortunately, with her being sick, she has now missed an entire month of dance class. And it's heartbreaking. So hopefully we will get back to dance class soon. I don't know when that's going to happen, but hopefully soon. Okay, and the last thing that's going to be in her Halloween bag, boo bag, unicorn bag, whatever we're going to call it. I'm not really sure. Um, her goodie bag for Halloween, that's what we'll say, is another Us Born book. This is for pen control. There we go. Um, she has been really interested in writing and drawing and scribbling lately and so I thought that this would be good practice for her really um, it's got a bunch of like pictures with different lines and shapes in it and it comes with a wipe clean pen so she can practice in this book over and over just different um, shapes and tracing so yeah it's good practice for her um, we're hoping for her to go to school next year in August, at least for half days. Um, well, half days is the plan. We're not going to go full days, but half days is the plan. And so this would be good practice for her, um, especially since she's interested in it. So anyways, that is everything that Celie is getting for Halloween. Make sure you leave what you got your kids for Halloween. If you got anything special, more than trick-or-treating, down in the comments below. I would love to know. I know this is going up kind of last minute because it will be going up on Halloween. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.